Hello YouTube, this is Magma Rhino, and right now I'm going to show you how to install custom ROMs, custom kernels, and how to overclock your Asus Transformer. Um, first off, you're going to put your Transformer into Clockwork Mod Recovery Mode. How you do that, well you should know already if you followed my first tutorial. If not, um, you hold down the volume down and the power button at the same time, uh, and you keep holding them, keep holding them, and now you hit the volume up button. Um, you'll have this text up here, and it'll go into Clockwork Mod Recovery. Uh, now make sure you have 3.2.0.1, or whatever is the most recent version installed, um, before you go through with this, just to make sure everything will work fine. Um, now, first of all, what are ROMs, kernels, and overclocking? Um, well, kernels and overclocking go together. Kernels basically control how your tablet uh, takes power from the battery. And if you allow it to take more power, then you can overclock and make it run faster. Uh, it is dangerous, but only if you go too far. If you go from 1 GHz to 1.2, it's not going to damage anything. If you go to like 1.6 over time, yes, it may damage it. Um, but these CPUs are actually made to go faster, and they are electronically limited, um, you know, just so that they can run what they're set to run smoothly and without ever having a problem or ever getting overheated. Um, but they can go faster without really any side effects. Um, and ROMs are custom versions of the Android OS. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to install Revolver, which is a custom ROM uh, made for the Asus Transformer. Um, if you don't know how to do this, you use the volume buttons to navigate, and you use the power button to select. What you're going to do is go to install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, and then find your revolver file. Um, now mine's right here. Uh, make sure you have this still in the zip, and make sure you have it on your micro SD card. Now you're going to hit the power button, go to yes, and it's going to say all this stuff. Now, why am I installing Revolver first? Because Revolver is, um, it's a really good ROM. It doesn't change much visually, but it changes a lot performance-wise. Uh, it makes stuff smoother. It makes it so you can close out multitasking windows. It has a few little options like that. Plus, they update it the same day that the actual Android OS version is released. Um, so it, it's really good. Um, and also... By going through Revolver, you can get custom kernels and overclock a lot easier. Um, normally, you'd have to search the web, find the overclocking kernels, uh, and you always want to find the default um, honeycomb kernel, just in case something gets screwed up and you want to go back to uh, normal. Um, but another good thing with Revolver is it has an app called Revolver Parts. Uh, now, this app it basically serves as your update center, Whenever there's an update to Revolver, it automatically downloads it. It tells you so it, and it, it pretty much pops it up down there like the original Transformer firmware. Uh, it just tells you there's an update, and you can go update it. Uh, so that's it's really nice to have. Um, this is fairly slow, so I'm just gonna come back when it's done. Okay, so it's done, and it's gonna. Bring you back to this menu. Um, for some reason, the back button broke. So you, I'm just gonna hold down the power button. That's really odd, though. Um, it said that before. I just I didn't really understand it. Um, there we go. So you're just gonna reboot your system. Your back button shouldn't break like that, like mine did. Um, but so you're gonna go back, you're gonna reboot your system, blue loading bar, and then it's gonna go to your little boot up. It should have a new boot logo, and that's how you're gonna know first off, like this, that you did it right. Um so you're just gonna let this boot up and I'm gonna be right back again. Alright, I'm back. I know it's not booted up yet, but uh this this first boot up should take about four to five minutes. I gave it about two so far, so I just want to say something quick for the rest. Um, these ROMs are made custom, are customly made for each Android device. Oh, there it goes. So what that means is you can't just go on the internet and install any ROM because it won't work. It has to be made for the ASUS Transformer. Um, 
there's not that many. I believe Revolver is one. Uh, there's one, I think, Prime. And there might be one more. No, th there definitely is one more. It's called Revolutions HD. Um, so it's basically those three are your only choices as far as this goes. Uh, Revolver is the best. There's no doubt about that. Some people might like the others more, but this just it has the best for what it should do. Anyway, after you boot up, if you have Revolver, you're going to go to the app market and get Revolver parts. Um, no, that didn't work. Parts. I spelled parts wrong, but there we go. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to show you quick what Revolver Parts is and how to get custom kernels and how to overclock from Revolver Parts. Also, as you may notice, um, these buttons are different, um, but don't worry if you don't like them because this is one of the main benefits of Revolver Parts. Now, you open up Revolver Parts. Uh, there's an update, but I'm not going to get it yet. Except... Um, it automatically updates over the air, uh, has your versions. Here's mods, which is where you can get the stock buttons. You can get uh, different buttons from other things. Uh, here's all the kernels you can get. Oh, there's a new one. Uh, this Virtuous OC Damien, uh, that's new. It basically goes in order from uh, oldest to newest. And you always want to install stock. Um, the reason you always want to install stock is because in case anything happens then you can always go back to what the you know stock is and not worry about losing anything uh, there's themes for it there's apps and stuff from other ones uh, and then there's like a bunch of settings here you can do and you can change the status bar like what I like to do is have these quick settings uh, Wi-Fi Bluetooth auto rotate airplane mode sound and mm, I'll just do this one GPS, and then I like the stock battery icon. So you can either give it a few minutes for it to load, or you can reboot, but this is like the quick settings, which I like a lot. And eventually that battery icon will go back to default. You can install the... Allow that. Uh, install the default buttons and stuff and all that. Um, but kernels here, usually the bottom most one is the most effective. But remember to always install stock as well. Also, before you do anything with kernels, and really before you do anything with ROMs, you should back up your whole system if you don't know how to do that. That's another thing. Uh, it's got options whenever you go to turn it off. So I'm going to boot to recovery. Uh, before you do anything really with your rooted device, you should back up your um, blah, 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 whatever you call it. Um, you back up your whole device, and how you do that is on this menu, there's backup and restore, you just hit backup, power button, and then it'll back everything up. Um, you can also restore from your old backups in case anything goes wrong. Um, but, <clears throat> you know, keep in mind, if you unroot it or if it gets bricked and you decide not to root it again, you don't have Clockwork Mod Recovery, so you can't actually uh, restore that. Um, so, basically, that's... I just showed you how to install Revolver, but any other um, kernels and any other ROMs go usually the same way, but make sure you read the instructions anyway, because some of them may be slightly different. Uh, some of them may have other files you have to do. Sorry, I just didn't feel like waiting for it to boot. Um, so yeah, anyway, if you have any other things like that that you, kernels or ROMs, you install in the same way. Just you know, read the form just to make sure. Um, and then if you want to overclock, all you have to do is go to the App Store and find an overclocking app. Um, I would recommend Set CPU, but it costs like two or three bucks. It's really not that bad, uh, and it's really stable. Um, there's a few others you can get. And you, you just open them up, and you just set your max uh, CPU speed. It's really easy. I'm not going to show you because it's too easy. It's in the app. Um, but that's pretty much it. So if you have any other questions about uh, rooting devices and uh, what you can do with them, anything like that, uh, leave a comment below. I'll be sure to go and answer it. And if you want me to make a video on anything else uh, rooting-wise, also let me know and I will get to it as soon as I can. Um, so thank you very much for watching this, and I'll see you later.